Peanuts. Snoopy's First Beagle on the Moon by Charles M. Schlutz. Adapted by Simana Hastings. Illustrated by Robert Pope. Snoopy, the world famous astronaut, has a mission. He is going to travel into space and find water on the moon. First, Snoopy must prepare for his trip. I need to wear a sp space helmet, Snoopy tells Woodstock. Woodstock hands him a baseball cup. Well, yes, sort of like that, Snoopy says. Snoopy finds a real space helmet and a space suit. He also packs some snacks. Next, Snoopy does a safety check on his doghouse. Safety is always the most important part of the mission. Finally, Snoopy sits on the doghouse and prepares for launch. All systems are go, he says. Woodstock chirps at Snoopy. Snoopy understands him perfectly. Okay, Snoopy says, I will bring back a present from the moon for you. Woodstock chirps the countdown. Three, two... One, we have liftoff. Snoopy launches higher and higher into the sky. The view is beautiful. After a while, Snoopy lands safely on the moon. I did it. I'm the first beagle on the moon, Snoopy says. I beat everybody. I even beat the cat who lives next door. Then Snoopy sees someone walking towards them. Who is it? Could it be an alien? It is not an alien. It is his brother, Spike. The brothers are thrilled to see each other. Are we on the moon? Snoopy asked. I thought you lived in Needles. Spike does not know, but he does know that he, his shop sells a snow globe with the moon inside. Snoopy buys the snow globe. It will make a nice gift for Woodstock. Spike joins Snoopy on his mission. Spike finds a strange rock. Snoopy calls, collects dust. They could not find any water though. After a while, Snoopy and Spike are tired. They decide to take a break and eat some dog treats. Snoopy wants to, wants to picnic inside the shiny crater. Then he looks more closely. The crater is covered in ice. Ice is frozen water, says Snoopy. I did it. I found water on the moon. My shop sells water bottles, you know, Spike says. But Snoopy tells him water bottles and ice are not the same thing. Snoopy collects some ice samples. Now his mission is complete. He says goodbye to Spike and begins his return to Earth. Here is the world famous astronaut returning from the moon. 239,000 miles through space, Snoopy thinks. Then Snoopy's stomach grumbles. He realizes that Earth is still very far. What if he misses dinner? After a while, Snoopy lands safely in Charlie Brown's backyard. Woodstock loves the snow globe. Snoopy's stomach grumbles again. Then Charlie Brown opens the door. Snoopy, it's dinner time, he calls. I gave you a little extra food, Charlie Brown says. I thought you might be hungry after exploring the moon. It's good to be back home, Snoopy thinks, just in time for dinner. Turn the page to learn more about the moon, Snoopy's space gear, and a long relationship between Peanuts and NASA. The moon. The Earth's moon is the biggest and brightest object in the night sky. The moon orbits or circles around the Earth about every 28 days. Fun moon facts. The moon is about 239,000 miles away from the Earth, but the actual distance is always changing. That's a long way. The moon's surface has many craters, which are large, round dents made from other objects having crashed into it. Moonlight is actually just sunlight being reflected off the moon's surface. You can often see the moon in the sky during daytime too. The temperature on the moon can get hotter than 250 degrees Fahrenheit and as cold as negative 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Humans on the moon. In July 1969, NASA's Apollo 11 spacecraft landed on the moon's surface. 
People all around the world watched as astronaut Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans to walk on the moon. Since then, 10 more people have walked on the moon so far. Is there water on the moon? NASA has confirmed there is water ice on the moon's surface. In 2018, a team of scientists found evidence at the moon's poles. This discovery might help astronauts live on the moon one day. Snoopy's spacesuit. Space is full of wonders and mystery. Snoopy's spacesuit and helmet keep him safe on any adventure that comes his way. The spacesuit is made up of many layers, each with their own purpose. A spacesuit arm has 14 layers. The suit gloves include little heaters so Snoopy's paws do not get cold. The suit comes with a drink bag and a straw so Snoopy can drink water without taking off his suit. The primary life support system looks like a backpack. It carries a battery and a fan that helps supply oxygen to Snoopy. It also has a radio. The space helmet provides oxygen to breathe. Its visor is coated with, a, with gold to protect Snoopy from sunlight and small objects. Under the helmet, Snoopy wears a communications carrier assembly, or a Snoopy cap. It has an earphone and a microphone so astronauts can speak with people. The end.